newsletters are a great way uh, to reach the industry. Um, they're a very effective way. People do respond to query letters. Um, if they see something in the query letter that catches their eye, they want to read whatever you're talking about, they definitely are not a waste of time. Now, a couple things about query letters. Um, mostly, you won't get any response if you don't have something in the query letter that will catch your eye, like if you've won a recent fellowship or you've won an award at a film festival or something, that, or you have somebody attached to your script that they know of that's very bankable and current, you know, something like that that could really, or if you're related to somebody that knows them or something, maybe you put that, some sort of personal angle in there, that might work. A queer letter should be very short. Um, you might talk a little bit about your movie, but I wouldn't talk too much about it. Something that hopefully hooks them. And the most important thing about a queer letter is the screenplay that you're talking about. Is your screenplay ready? Is your, I mean, is everyone around you saying, oh my gosh, this is the best screenplay I've read all year? I mean, are you having the responses? Are you having that? Because if you're going to go out, if people around you, your fellow writers, your colleagues, your family, your friends are like, you're getting mixed reactions, you're still giving notes, you still see problems in your script, you, and you're just sort of run out of patience. Don't expect to send out a query letter if anyone does respond, you send out the script, they're probably gonna have the same reaction. So keep the focus on the writing of your script and working on that and your query letter will take care of itself down the road. But if you're focused on like writing a great query letter, that tells me that maybe you need to, to work on your script a little bit longer. So keep the focus right on the screenplay and not the query letter.